the universe, the galaxies, the stars, the sun, it all encompasses together with us. That is the genesis of mankind. Earth. On today's documentary, we shall be discussing on the astonishing vibe of the Egyptian civilization spanning from the northern tip of Africa to the southern part of Ethiopia that it lingers on the Nile River. This is the abnormal history of the Egyptian civilization. Assalamu alaikum and greetings. I am PhD Amrullah from the Faculty of Antediluvian Scrutiny. I'd like to brief out the meaning or history of the Egyptian civilization. And if we were able to do that, we will have to go through its preface first. Here is the modern map of Africa and its borders. To the north is Egypt, and to the south is Ethiopia and Sudan. What you're, what you're about to see is the latter map of the ancient civilization. Under other circumstances, Egypt was a, was a shattered state, was ununified in the past, and it took a lot of ordeal to unify the territories into the Egyptian civilization or empire. And the territories are known as nomes. These nomes were once gargantuan, such as Thebes. Cairo, Memphis, and Heliopolis were all punitive villages, and as the development took place, they all turned into those bustling gnomes with shrines, temples, wonders, and monuments, including gardens, dams. The Egyptians were formally formed by the banks of the Nile River by 3100 BC. Their civilization was thought to sell by the banks, as they were very fertile. Agriculture, such as crops, animal husbandry, commerce trading, and the construction of captivating monuments. After several decades, these gnomes unified and the Egyptian empire is born, conquering its neighbors, including Palestine. Becoming an empire by the year 1570 and 1085 BC, even though they unified, there were rival states bordering their empire. Each attacks trembling their glory, then they reunify their empire to glorious wars, ones which are gallant and stalwart. Exemplary, the Kush, the Syrians, the Greeks, and the Romans struggled to inherit the throne of Egypt. However, their audacity remains with technological advances, which help them remain their, their strength from the enamoring and overwhelming attacks, equipped by Bronze Age weapons. Lethal weapons, spears, axe, mace, and whips, genuine Egyptian ornaments. When we talk about the Egyptians in terms of politics, they practice hierarchy. As the gnomes grow, their capital changed throughout their century. Gnomes are usually where pharaohs, priests, writers, vassals, and bureaucrats live. Free citizens work at the farms, become traders and artisans. Sadly for the peasants and slaves, they work under the pharaoh. The pharaoh were indeed symbolized as the gods of Egypt. Some are considered the god of Horus. Some are also considered the god of the sun, Amun-Re. 
The god Amre, the sun god, with one circular rim above his head, with the facial expressions of an eagle and a humanoid body. But is that all? Are the Egyptians just simply a forgotten empire with no specialties? Or they were inspired by extraterrestrial beings that helped with the construction of the pyramids, made contact with them through alien crafts and UFOs? Was it true that Napoleon blew off the nose of the Sphinx? And why Egypt gave dreams and creativity to music industry, arts, and even secret organizations? Pharaohs whose ambition to slay the holy prophets and liquidate the Jewish people. Stay tuned for the next extraction documentary.